New kids, Jimmy. I I I am a fan. Uh, whoa, but on, whoa, on, a, whoa. on a on a on a on a personal level. What do you mean like on, on a personal like, level? Like like the white ones have a little bit of this on, like a little of this, like the the neck on it, it gives me some nostalgia. I'm trying to find out okay. what year it was and why I was connected to those, um, why I feel connected to those. But there is an era of the neck, and I don't. Maybe you guys remember it, that I think it was around my youth national team era that this, this has some like uh, nostalgia that is giving back to me. Uh, otherwise, it's kind of a, a whatever. But on a personal level, that's I, I keep going back to this nostalgia that's coming around the neck. Obviously, a huge, huge crest. And people are going hard on the memes on on this one too, including uh, <laughs> including the Chris Mackey. I don't know if you saw that one where he's like, "When I accidentally put my shirt in on inside out or backwards or something like that, this is the face I make." Type of thing of, of Tyler <laughs> Adams in this one. Um, but yeah, yeah. That, I mean, that's my initial thoughts on it. It's, it's got some nostalgia in it for me as as somebody who right, wore. Right. I, I I've got a, a stack of twenty different like you know U.S. jerseys on the ground right now. Should be on the ground. That's disrespect, but um, took them out of a box. And I don't. I can't find the ones that it reminds me of. But I'm still looking. I think I actually think that they look like some former U.S. Women's National Team jerseys back in the 2003, 2004 era that have that a similar type of thing. But it would make sense. If you actually want us to win in these jerseys, it'd probably make them look like the women. <laughs> yeah. those women I'll tell you. Well, the, women, the women hey. are wearing these jerseys. Yeah, the they're, white they're, ones look great because they have four yeah, stars be. on top. Yeah. The four yeah. stars brings that jersey together. We don't have any stars. <laughs> no stars. stars. We're missing stars. Okay, Chuck, what are your thoughts on this? Because Heath conveniently yeah. forgot to talk about the blue one, which looks like a warm-up. But go ahead. You go ahead. I, I, I think the blue is fire. I, I, you think the blue I, is what is yes, happening? Yes, I, I, I really what? like the blue. I for a warm-up. I, I, I agree with you for a warm-up. What do you mean for a warm-up? Why, why it, not? I don't like it. I think that's dope. I, I yeah. like it. it I is, do. It is. It is very warm up esque that we see now, right? It is very third kit esque of like the tie dye. The yeah. The, okay, look, I, I don't know if Arsenal this is called marble or the Arsenal, or... Arsenal warm up kit. I got the and and, and, and I, like I think it. and and but I love those too. Warm up. Yeah, but the, all, all, again, that's not Arsenal's colors. It's a reggae color, but I think those are uh, unbelievable. The this blue kit, I think when you see it on, and this is another thing that. I don't think Nike did a great job at doing, which is making sure that they're in the match kits. They were the white ones were the replica ones. They weren't mm -hmm. the, the they weren't the blue ones when you have like the proper stitching, it's light and it has like the the design around the sweat marks. Like it there's it's clean. Mm -hmm. I, I think the blue, I, I really like the blue. The white hey, one interesting. It's there's nothing that's like making it different outside the that I like the center crest. But I'm I'm with you guys on the on the white kit, I think. You know, I th I think the white I think the white kit looks better in full, like white yeah. white navy blue socks. I don't I don't mind that combo. Now, I don't think it's that fun or that creative at the at the top, right? With all the like the the NFL type shoulder bridging that they're doing. I think that they had eight years to create something and they didn't really have that much fun with it. It looks pretty boring, all things considered. The blue one though just looks like a warm up to me. And since we've seen some other kits out there that fans have put together. Those look those look pretty sick, and you just like wow. If somebody had just put maybe ten minutes into hey, thinking this hey, through, I, I it could will have been a little this. bit better. I will say this though, Jimmy, in the spirit of being excited about the World Cup for our national team, by and large, Twitter is not the most um, uh, positive place to go. And uh, uh, <laughs> it, it was Are you designed. It's a negative eco chamber. For, I, I was I, <laughs> I I was told that it was designed to um, provoke doom scrolling. Uh, which is what the app was 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 built for. But this guy posted this thing and it come, somehow got across my feed. His name is uh, his, his his handle is at the soccer goose. His name is Ben Goshorn. Goshorn immediately was like, okay, these aren't good, but I'm gonna do tie dye jobs for anybody wants. So for thirty dollars more, or whatever. Like he, <laughs> he basically was like, found a solution to saying, hey, buy the kit, support it. You know, this 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 actually supports whatever it is uh, that it supports, but we can make it better. And I'm going to go about making it better. And I, I messaged him. I was like, dude, I definitely want to get that done because I don't mind the way I want it because it gives me some nostalgia. But if you want to make it better, there's people out there that can customize those. I went to, uh, I remember getting one from um, Nowhere FC guys, tie dyed one for me back in the day. That was one of the, had my name on it and everything. And I was like, dude, this is sick. It made it my own one of one. And if you don't like the shirt, make it better uh, because you can. And there's people out there that will customize it. You know, I, 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 I have to say this though, at the end of the day, we're not Portugal's kit, okay? Look at Portugal's kit. That thing is a horror show. It it's just a diagonal separating the two two colors. 
Yeah, it yeah, is, Portugal's is that's, terrible. That's by far the worst. That's the Portugal's, worst. Portugal's yeah. kit is by so, far so the worst. At, well, well, also, I should mention that I heard that Canada didn't even get World Cup jerseys because they have to make them 18 months in advance. So in March 2021, Nike didn't think that Canada was going to qualify for the World Cup, so oh, yeah. they don't have proper World Cup jerseys. Canada were in first place almost like half of the qualifying, and they didn't have like a release video or content that was like nothing. Captured. They didn't have anything. And they missed – yeah, that is 100% they missed true. The window. They missed the window to get their jerseys fully custom. Canada doesn't uh, have jerseys. People are going crazy about That might Poland. be worse than Poland's Portugal. Jimmy. <laughs> Poland's is just a red shirt with a Nike swoosh on it and some things on the sleeves, and people are like, yo, crisp clean you know like, <laughs> man look at like i, I like, like your troll just, voice like That's like like just like you know look at the look at the like just look at this red you know like look at the red of this you know i i get that the white one from u.s soccer feels lazy it does feel like a lazy take the blue one has just some when they, it's, the I blue one is they subjective so to whether time. you like it or not right they, they That's did fair. have so That's much, fair. i mean That's fine. to be fair it, jimmy if you were Nike, you might have been in the same boat as uh, Canada looking at the U.S. the way we did in 2018. Going oh like, my should, God. Should, oh should we put, my God. Should we, hey, should we put the eight? Oh should we put the eight? Should we put the eight team on this? Over. Should we oh put my. the eight team on this? And they're oh like, no, nah, I mean, nah. shoot, this is nah, a young nah. team. We don't even know if they're going to qualify. Let's put the hey, C squad Jimmy, on this. Go back okay. to Honduras. You lose that game in Honduras. <laughs> life becomes real difficult. I you get it. Back in the I second get half. It. But if you're Nike in the design room at halftime, you're going, guys. Stop! Stop the design work. <laughs> stop it. Stop the design work. Go to lunch. Hey, I need you working on some basketball. I need some of you going over to the NFL package. Wow! You know, wow. Uh, everybody, okay, okay. pencils down. You know, uh, uh, test that, is over. I like that conspiracy theory. Another one that I have is that I think that Nike know that this World Cup and I tweeted it out are somewhat playing four dimensional chess. This is an important World Cup, of course, but the one in 2026 is going to be the one where every single person in this country is going to want one of those kits. And those have to be bangers. Those More have so to be absolute fire. Bangers. So like, I think they're yeah. lowering expectations right now. They're <laughs> yeah, lowering right. expectations for 2022 because they're considering them as warm-ups because they know 2026 that they know that we're hosting. So they're automatically going to get in, which now nullifies heats moving well, forward because they know we're going to be a part of it. Have to be bangers. They have to be bangers. I, I, and I, and I saw this guy's on. I, I show it. Producer Alex, we have these ones. Follow me on Twitter if you haven't already or follow any of us in Soccer We Trust. And, and Heath and Charlie Davis. And we have these up. This is the, the Waldo one. It's kind of a remake of the Waldo. That yeah. one's good. Okay, but show the other right. ones. If you're listening to this, go to ISWT pod. Follow us on Twitter. This pajamas. navy blue one, though, it's is a jam. It's navy blue with, like, little white stars all over it with a red I do trim. like it. I love I that like one. It. And then the last one is is a black one. Kind of like mm. Bayern Munich's third kit from last mm. season. It's and LA, it, has the, it has the Declaration of Independence written on it. And, it, and really sick. small. Oh, wow. And it's sick. Wow. It's sick. Anyway, I just wanted to throw these out there that <laughs> I'll tell you, we're not wearing we're not wearing black in Qatar for a World Cup. Even no, that's fair. <laughs> I mean, the summer in twenty six you know? isn't going to get. Oh no, yeah, you want cooler. you want to get you want that you want that. I mean, that's why I have a feeling that's going to be when it, I, I I'm assuming it's going to have to be in the finals. Going to be in an arena because you know you want to roll out that third kit. That's going to be that black one. Sick when the U.S. is in that final. You know, talk but it's got to be indoors. Talk about a statement kit with that one, right? In terms of everything that that would stand for. But uh, I, I I say everybody should do a, a there should be a competition and and for all the supporters to come up with their their ideal kit and and hopefully they take that into consideration you know for for the next one. Don't you think there's too much pride at stake for these designers from Nike, Adidas, wherever that they're not going to take anybody from the internet <laughs> to give them ideas. You know, and they can't rip these ideas because now there'll be a copyright thing or at least be some type of legal battle. I mean, I think they should just hire this guy and get his input and take it from there. But anyway, I just well, like well, those I, three I, concepts. Hey, That's I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw up a few okay, uh, you throw for up anybody a few. that's watching. You guys tell me what you guys like about This was my original. This is 06, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm a fan because yeah. that was that was. Do you wear I this in the World in. Cup? Yeah. I did not because we only no. waited, we wore it against Czech Republic. I mean, it's. I, I think it's got, you know, I just I like the red. It pops on that a little play. bit. You have the, you have the, uh. This is a long sleeve. Um, That's 2010, this is, this, right? Yeah, this is the one that yeah has that stripe across the chest. Yeah, a little, um, little sash. Yeah, little, yeah. I mean, that one's it, pretty pretty sentimental, but I, I wouldn't. Pretty generic. I'm, I'm not saying that's fire okay. at all. That's fair. Okay. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, this is like the 06. I love this, that actually, one. this might be 06. Also, um, this might be 05. That's when uh, I came into the team. Yeah, that's, that's in 2005. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, this is this is 05. So that one that Jimmy's wearing is the 06, I think. This is that lighter material. This is that uh what was it? What'd you say, Charlie? I, I was gonna say that that total 90. Yeah. Total uh, 90 I had that the white that kit of that, I thought was yeah. absolutely I thought that was fine. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. have that one too. Uh, I, the I was one gonna behind say, though, 
Yeah. What was interesting is those uh, total 90 kits, what didn't Holland wear the same ones, just a different color scheme and Mexico and almost every, everybody, everybody, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's no, there wasn't uh, anything that separating it except the, the colors. These are our qualifiers. Again, the white, I mean, if you, if too. you're, if you're from our era, you would know this is a lot of home games during qualifying. We're in that one. A lot um, of wins. A, a lot of dubs. Yeah. This is a I classic gr gray. Mm-hmm big collar um long sleeve and then obviously we got the uh the uh Copa pinstripe america affiliate. pinstripe yeah. that was in uh, like a nod to baseball i remember like a july 4th nod to baseball and then they got this pinstripe. one um with the stripes that, with the stripes yeah down. i'm a big fan of that one woke up qualifying that was my first cap that was my first cap kit is it nice yeah. nice yep. yeah so, so, so those, those are I, just a few that that no. i mean the one be, one behind me is one of my favorites because when you're playing in them a lot of it's material it's weight it's that comfort but like the that total 90 era of the, just the boot, it's not quite mercurial, but it was a big era in terms of like the rollout from Nike. That circle was, was iconic on, on everything. I actually have a pair of, of those boots somewhere around here still from the upper 90s. From, from what I understand, the, for the World total Cup, 90. the U.S. is going to wear white against Wales and then wear their blue against England and Iran. Ooh. So I do know that. That's From what I understand, that's been confirmed. Let's go. Were, yeah, so that'll be interesting. It would have been pretty cool to wear the Declaration of Independence type kit, though, against England, you know? <laughs>